Okay, we have questions. It's it time on? to bring Let's it on. It. Go okay. for it. This first question, Pat, comes from Deshaun, who says, do those who've departed and gone on to heaven know about our circumstances, whether good or bad? Because in Abraham's bosom, Abraham knew about the life of the rich man. You know, you pointed a good thing. I, I don't know any teaching in the Bible, per se, that says that those in heaven know what's going on in our lives here on earth. I don't believe that. You know, we're surrounded by a great company of witnesses. But I just don't think that all the stuff that goes on in our life is being relayed to people in heaven. I, I don't think the Bible teaches that. But this, certainly what you said is true. Uh, you know, when the, the, the man was talking uh, to Father Abraham in heaven, and he said, in your life you had good things, and he had bad things. So anyhow, uh, he knew that much about them. And so there is some, your guess is as good as mine, because it is a guess. There's no teaching on it. Okay. We'll know when we get there. Right? We'll know when we get there. All right. Okay. This is Sam who says, in Exodus, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, and the Seventh Commandment is, thou shalt not commit adultery. But men continued to have more than one wife until the end of the Old Testament. My question is, would that still technically be adultery? Um, it wasn't. They were marrying these women, and... Uh, they had multiple wives. The kings did, and others did. They had, David had several wives. Um, so that was certainly after Moses had written. And that wasn't considered adultery, which means one of these days, trust me, the laws concerning polygamy are going to be taken out because the only reason they have laws for against polygamy is because it is said it is unbiblical and it is not Christian, and therefore they shouldn't do it. And so if, if you can have all the other things that the Supreme Court has ruled on, believe me, they're going to say that it's unconstitutional to forbid polygamy. We look at the New Testament, which says a man should have one wife and be content with one wife rather than multiple wives. It's in the New Testament. But that wasn't adultery because they were married. They got married. They, they, I mean, the man looked after the wives. They were his wives, and, and he, he had a, a covenant relationship with all of them. That's in the book. All right. This is Lori Pat, who says, The book of John states that you can be forgiven for any sin. So why can't you be forgiven for the sin of blasphemy? Well, you can be forgiven for the sin of blasphemy, but uh, the... the the sin that is, you know, you can't be forgiven for is, is the sin of, of coming against the Holy Spirit. And, you know, when you blaspheme the Holy Spirit, you, in essence, are saying, I don't believe you. I will not receive your message. But what is the Holy Spirit telling you? That he's telling you to come to Jesus. And if you refuse to come to Jesus, there's no forgiveness for that. Uh, if, if you do not accept the Lord and you deny the power of the Holy Spirit, then you have come to uh, no uh, salvation. That's what I think it is, but it's more complicated than I've got time to discuss right now, but that's, that is the essence of what we're saying. Well, we leave you with today's Power Minute from Nehemiah. The joy of the Lord is your strength.